what is up guys welcome back here to another rise of kingdoms content so today we're going to talk about you know a few things in here what makes being a free-to-play these days so much easier now than ever before by the way in this video as well you are going to see where this player is going to get rallied um he is getting rallied by city burner and i don't know if he is going to land this attack so city burner in here um going to be burning a massive deroma 17 million kill points it's a, a goat citizen um i don't know if he's going to hit it so once he hits it, it we will definitely take a look at it so i'm really kind of like curious if i should bring my march there but i think it's going to be way too late to help the dude yeah it's like eight minutes um he's got some reinforcement inside I should uh, I should ask for a report. I know it's my teammate, but I think he's AFK. So uh, I'm, I'm gonna be like, please send report. Um, please send. I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna be gorgeous. Hi, mind is sending report after. I'm curious if he's going to succeed or not. Oh, did he cancel it? Oh, dang, he canceled. Anyway, let's get back into our original agenda. A um, few things that I want to tell you guys. It's that it's much, much easier now as a free to play to grind in Rise of Kingdoms. All right. Now, as you guys know, this is not my main account. This is an account that I just work on, um, you know, kind of more like casually and play it. And um, I'm really grateful for the jumping, pro you know, jumper group here in 2500 to uh, invite me and accept me to be a part of this um, alliance and a part of the kingdom. Now, I don't know every single one of them in here, but everybody has been truly been really nice, and especially this KVK. The surrounding KVK players, even the opponents and the allies are very nice as well. So I want to give a shout out to them for being super cool. Now, the thing that I want to say is a lot of things are much easier now. So there are multiple events now that makes being a free-to-play much easier than from when I started Rise of Kingdoms. Now, many free-to-play will still complain about this, that it's still difficult. Yes, it's always a challenging. You don't want to get T5 right away in day one, right? See, if you get T5 right away in day one, yes, it might be fun. Or if you get a max commander right away in day one, it might be fun. But you're missing out the the progress of it, the, the journey. Right, you don't. You, you there's the journey that you need. So it's kind of like when people uh, first introduce how to bake a cake, the easy bake cake, um, when they made it super easy um, and nobody was actually buying it, so because it was too easy. When they made actual steps to do it, like adding egg, you know, all that kind of stuff, people were actually more uh, buying it. You can actually Google that stuff, I believe. So in Rise of Kingdoms, many many opportunities now to get um, you know your progress further. Um, let's just talk about a few things that are here today, all right? Few things that are here that we ha we have access to, all right? So if you take a look into this, you know, if you have uh, made some good, uh, uh, you know, I think the Osiris uh, Osiris coins. If you're participating in battles, you're gonna get Osiris coins, all right? Um, another thing is if you're doing the bets and you did really good. So as you can see, I have now claimed my bets in here, uh, my coins, my Oryx. For legendary commander sculpture if you bet really well as well you can get legendary commander sculpture so there's opportunities to get sculptures i just gave you three opportunities to get legendary commanders uh, commander sculptures now another thing you know arc of osiris every two weeks you get to have five or ten legendary commander sculptures regardless of whether you win or lose now Kerouac ceremony as you can see i'm trying to grind as much as i can in here i'm kind of behind because i'm weak all right. Um, this is another opportunity for you to get some legendary commander sculpture. So as you can see, you can get legendary commander sculpture from here. So there's many, many ways to get legendary commander sculptures. Now we have the champions of Olympia as well. If you play this, you can get legendary commander sculpture as well. You can get two from there. 
And if you do the Tempest Clash, you can also get Legendary Commander Sculpture. There's so many free ways now compared to, you know, when I started playing Rise of Kingdoms, all right? Now, this is something that is much newer to me. Um, you know, I know this has been out for a while, but it's much, it, the impact of this is so much greater now being a free-to-play in my experience right now, this lucky stall. So in my main account, I would pick, I would pick the, um, the training, the training, all right? I would pick the training, but for this free-to-play account, I pick, you know, 40%. Actually, I have two more chances, but I don't really want to risk it. I mean, 40% is pretty freaking good already. It's not 50%, but 40% is good. Construction resource cost. I think the, the research is okay, but I think the construction is good because right now, as you know, resources is also a big thing for free-to-play players. So as you guys can see right now, I'm going to be trying to upgrade into City Hall 22. There's an importance of trying to get this, all right? So City Hall 22, oh, again, I'll give you guys the uh, hint right there that I was going to talk about, but City Hall 22, as you can see, um, allows you to get five dispatch queue, all right? So if you want five marches, you want to go for CH22. So a lot of times you will say, you know, go to CH21 so you can get T4. Actually, it's wrong. Go to CH22 so you get T4 and you get five marches, meaning that you'll have another extra march to farm whenever you are sleeping. Now, the lucky stall how it's so beneficial and how it's a lot more easier being a free to play because when I upgrade right now, as you can see, it may be nine days, but the resource cost in here is reduced greatly. 14.6 million, right? It's 40% off, right? 6.3 million stones. Amazing. Uh, I'm actually going to request for an architect buff. I don't think I'm going to go look for a rune, but I'm going to request for an architect buff. I'm going to go here. Um, I'm going to request for, um, architect buff. Um, what happened here? Um, oh, somebody got uh, attacked. Um, evicted. Uh, oh yeah. We got wrecked there. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Um, okay. So, I mean, it's pretty interesting. So let's see. Um, I was going to say, I'm going to ask for architect buff, um, architect architect please so i'm gonna upgrade that as we get the architect let's take a look oh oh that was quick wow wow i'm very impressed i'm very very impressed so nine days nine hours all right so we're gonna upgrade that and um did i upgrade this already this is already 21. So another tip that I want to give you guys, make sure your Alliance Center is 21. And as you can see, I have my T4 finish in here. I'm not going to collect that. Um, I'm going to collect that through a uh, power-up event. So that's another way for me to maybe I can sneak in and get some sculpture from there. All right, so I'm going to click nine days, nine hours. Look at that discount. Wow, so much easier now than ever before. So if you guys still think being a free-to-play is super challenging, I want you guys to think twice now by seeing you know seeing this video because when i first started in this game there's no such thing as those event you had to pay full price for that all right and look at that we're getting some speed ups in there and i'm not gonna rush that you know i'm not gonna rush that building unless there's an event then i'll have to rush it but um for now that's the goal get to ch22 so we can get another march so um as you guys can see i'm also you know trying to grind the udors in here and I want to be able to make sure that I go into the next level because the higher the levels that we get, the better the rewards will be. So what else can I think of? Um, rewards. When I first started in this game, there was no KVK. Um, as you can see now in KVK, if you actually grind, you get so much rewards as well. Just for defeating Barbarians, I'm almost there. Um, you get some rewards, get some action points, some keys, some loots in here as well. Not much, but you get these Tome of Knowledge, which is easy, not, nice as well, not easy. Um, so, you know, by battling, which is, this is, this is going to be a little bit more difficult for free to play, honestly. But the honors to grind them, right? So I need to make sure that I join into the ruins as well. And as you can see, if you accumulate 80,000 honor in here, depending on your activity, you can get more legendary commander sculpture. It's so much easier now than it was before. That's all I can tell you. Alliance rewards as well. Um, Kingdom rewards as well. And you get, uh, oh yeah, you get Charlemagne, which is absolutely trash anyway. Um, yeah. So with that being said, guys, 
let me know if you are a free to play and what's your most struggle in the game and um if you are an og player an old player like me let me know what's the huge differences now uh compared to when you were starting before because i feel like um legitly in here uh, you know with truth and honesty candidly uh that it's so much more easier now for free to play to grind compared to when we first started back in 2018 or 2019 with that being said rockers thank you guys for watching i will see you guys again next time